Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this segment of uh, Friday with Father Rod. I hope everyone is doing well on this uh, beautiful spring day. We are going to be celebrating um, our annual parish May crowning, and we're going to do that on Sunday. It's a day early, but uh, we wanted to get every opportunity to honor Mary in the entire month of May. So after the 830 Mass, if you'd like to stay in church, or if you're not coming to the 830 Mass, if you'd like to just join us around 930, uh, we will be um, doing a May crowning. So um, please join us if you would like. Uh, next weekend, um, the first weekend in May, we will be having a parish breakfast. We hadn't had a parish breakfast um, since the first weekend in February um, because of our fish fries and really kind of the uh, simplicity of um, what we tried to offer as far as uh, donuts and breakfast during Lent. So please join us if you would like. Um, we are having also on the first Tuesday of the month, which this would be, accompanying like the first Friday adoration, we are having what we're describing as family adoration. So uh, kids and families are welcome. It's from six to eight o'clock. The Blessed Sacrament will move from the chapel to um, the church. And um, we will then uh, be able to, you know, just you can bring your kids, stay for 15 minutes. There'll be quiet music playing in the background. So there'll be some quiet in the church. Um, it's definitely a spirit of time for prayer and adoration. But also if the kids need to uh, color in the pews or, you know, go up to the near the church steps to color, um, you know, we just want you to know that this is going to be a monthly occurrence. Um, the Tuesday before First Friday, um, where we will have these um, family adoration. Again, we um, we started this in our um, 74 hours of adoration um, near the time of our um, 74th anniversary, and we think it's a good thing to continue to nurture um, along the way. So um, families with um, children, please bring them. Stay as long as you want. There'll be music playing, and uh, most of all, the other people that are praying from um, six to eight, just remember that it is um, family adoration time. Um, one of the last things I wanted to mention is thank you so much for all those who are working um, with these um, welcome circles for Ukraine. Everybody has their proper paperwork filled out, all their credentials um, received, and uh, now it's time to uh, find a host family, which we have identified in Ukraine. Um, they need to provide us with some documentation as well. So we're working on that right now. And um, soon we'll be asking for um, donations to, um, you know, help house them, you know, all of those kinds of things. So uh, we'll be reaching out to you here soon with other things that we need for this um, welcome circle to work well. Um, and we did set up a, a fund in our um, giving that we can um, donate to the Welcome Circle as well. So, um, you know, as those things unfold, I'm sure that the group is going to communicate with us monthly um, that's in charge of the Welcome Circle. And um, you can always reach out to the parish office if you have any um, questions as well. Um, this weekend, we're concluding our First Holy Communions. There are 82 candidates. Um, maybe the largest number we've had um, in recent times. So it's that's beautiful that we've had 82 young people um, coming to the table of the Lord. And um, those will be finished celebrating um, after the 11 o'clock mass this Sunday. And then I'm gonna go on vacation. So I always like to be here for First Holy Communions. And as you know, Easter moves about depending on um, when um, spring is and the next full moon. So um, I thought it was best if I just stayed for Divine Mercy um, Chaplet and Novena and then Divine Mercy Sunday and then for these First Holy Communion dates. So I'm going to leave on Monday, um, come back on Thursday the 11th, and I'm really excited to um, see my dad and sister who will be turning home here from Florida. I'll help them to um, kind of pack up and uh, close up their condominium in Florida and then um, be staying for a couple extra days myself for a little bit of um, R and R. So um, Father Frank Kosum will be here with us um, during the week, and um, also Father Jerry Lajack has picked the same two weeks to um, to go and relax in Florida as well. So uh, Father um, Frank um, will be here during the week, and then Father Turner 
and Father Lamenthal and Father Dan will help on the weekend as well that I'm gone. So really appreciate all the priests who um, make these um, vacations um, possible for me. So uh, may God bless you and let's uh, glorify God by praying together. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And may you know God's blessing in a special way and how much I love being your pastor. Have a great weekend.